Hello, my name is Robert Baranowski, and today I'm here to talk to you about registering with your company for an NSF grant on research.gov. Does it take terribly long to uh, register your company at research.gov? I would say 20 to 30 minutes. Um, the screen you're going to be going to is www.research.gov, very simple to remember. And you will need a confirmed SAM registration and a UEI code from SAM.gov. The main research.gov screen looks something like this. Uh, you're going to click register in the upper right hand corner and it will be brought to this page. You'll enter your personal information and click next or click save and preview, I should say. Then you will preview the account registration. Uh, there is a capture at the bottom of this page. You will just click I am not a robot. If there is an additional you may have to select pictures from an array, that sort of thing. I'm sure you've all done those before. But once you're done, you click Submit, and you will have a account re registration confirmation window appear. This window contains your NSF ID. You should set this aside and save it somewhere secure because you will need to use it every time you log into the research.gov website in the future. You will also receive an email from the NSF containing a temporary password for your account. You will log in to the NSF using your NSF ID number and your temporary password. And then you will have an opportunity to change your password to something that you can remember, and is, which is not uh, a bunch of random numbers and letters that they sent you. Change password, usual kind of thing you do on these types of screens. You enter your current password, which is the uh, temporary password, and then after enter your new password twice to, to confirm it. Then you're going to log in using your, your NSF ID and your new password. Once you get back to the main screen, you're going to click on My Profile. And on this screen, you're going to click Add a New Role. That will bring you to the Add a New Rule page, where you will see four choices to uh, select from. Uh, you will choose Add Investigator or Authorized User Role in the upper left-hand corner of this, of, the, of this page. And then you will select Principal Investigator or Co-Principal Investigator from this box and click Submit. Then you will have a chance to enter your unique entity identifier from the SAM.gov. You need to have one. If you uh, have just recently received information from SAM.gov that says your UEI is active, um, you need to give it a little bit of time to catch up to research.gov. If you don't, you may get an, an error message telling you that there is no uh, message, there is no matching entity in SAM.gov for the UEI for provided. If you give them about a day or so to catch up though, you will get a screen that looks something like this instead. And it will tell you the organization has no administrator. Your uh, company information should appear at the bottom of the screen. You'll click next and you will enter the contact information, your contact information to be the admin for the organization. Once you're done entering all of your information, you'll click next. You'll go to a page where you really don't have any choices. You just click next. And then you'll review your information, make sure that it's all accurate. And once you have reviewed it all and make sure it's accurate, you'll click submit to uh, proceed. Now, once you have done that, you will see that you are now registered as a SAM POC for your organization. You will click Add Additional Roles and be brought back to the Add a New Role page. On this page, you, once again, you will select Add Investigator or Authorized User Role. You will select Principal Investigator or Co-PI. And you will be able to choose your organization from a drop-down list box, as you can see here. Once you choose your organization, your organization information will appear at the bottom of the screen. 
and you can just click next. You will have to add the contact information for the PI or co-PI, which would be you once again, because it's the same person. And you will be sent to the next page once you click next, where you have no choices except to click next again. And then you will see a review page where you can review your information and go over all of it to make sure that it is accurate and correct. And then you'll click submit to move on to the next phase. Uh, you will now see that you have the administrator uh, contact type and the SAM POC type. And if you click continue to my profile, you will see that you also have the principal investigator or co-PI role assigned to you. This is very important because this means that you are now able and eligible to submit grants to the NSF using research.gov. And that's all there is to it. Additional videos in this series will include obtaining an EIN from the IRS, registration at SAM.gov, grants.gov, the ERA Commons, or the DSIP, or uploading documents to the DSIP, grants.gov, and research.gov. If you have questions about this stuff or anything else related to SBIRs or STTRs, granting agencies, managing small businesses, lean startup, or any of those other interesting topics, you should go to the wisconsinctc.org page and check out their learning opportunities because they have dozens, if not hundreds of videos about these and more for your edification. Uh, they are all 100% free and they are all available 24-7. Uh, my name is Robert Baranowski. It has been my pleasure to present this information to you today. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you very much.